the FHA North Star Podcast. I'm Michelle and today is Friday, December 8th. We have announcements and some music and movie reviews. Synthesizer kind of sound, electronic, flow, pulse. Oh, it's so good. Hey guys, okay, so we weren't here last week because of the snow days and everything, but to fill you in, this past week we had the Volunteer Nights Toy Drive and the very first annual uh, book fair in the library. Here it all went really, really well, so that's good. Um, upcoming this week, FCCLA is selling Santagrams. Next week, all throughout lunches, um, it's for a dollar. It includes a holiday greeting card and a bag of goodies. And then they're delivered Monday, December 18th to your first or seventh hours. The winter choral concert is Monday, 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Auditions for Footloose are going to be Monday and Tuesday after school. Callbacks are going to be on Wednesday, so if you try out, that's when you'll find out. Um, Sign Language Club is going to meet Tuesday in room 123. And ACT is going to be taken this Saturday, or er, and then next February 10th. So I guess that's it for this week. I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Dominique, and I just got the new Postal Service CD. Okay, this band is made up of Ben Gibbard, lead singer of Death Cab for Cutie, and Jimmy Tamborello. Uh, ben Gibbard writes the lyrics and melodies for this amazing band, and then Jimmy does the beats. It's kind of like a synthesizer kind of sound, electronic flow, pulse. Oh, it's so good. And also, Jenny Lewis from Rilo Kylie, she does backup vocals. In fact, on the, the band's album, Give Up, um, one of the ten songs is called Nothing Better, and it's really good. It's, bas it's, it's Ben Gibbard and Jenny Lewis singing back and forth to each other. It's, it's really funny. This, this album, Give Up, it's, about, it's got really, really peppy songs, you know, that make you want to dance and tap your foot. And then it's also got really almost downer songs, but still, it's very, it's very pensive. And he, his music is like poetry. It's, it's really, it's pop music with meaning. I love this band and I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, the next album I'm going to review is Lupe Fiasco's Food and Liquor. Now, if you like Kanye West, Common, uh, Most Def, or Jill Scott, she's on the album with him. She's featured in one of the songs. Um, then you will love Lupe Fiasco. He's the n newest artist. Uh, f he's from Chicago. And his new album is, it's very, I don't even know how to describe it. It flows so smoothly from song to song. That's one of my favorite parts. But it can, it's, very, it's really diverse, too. It can be, if, uh, you know, just a song as simple as skateboarding in the city or, you know, something more meaningful about his family. Uh, this new album, it's not really the kind of rap where you bump and grind too. It won't be played in dance clubs or anything, but it's really good rap music if you, if you enjoy, you know, the beats and the lyrics that is rap. So I really highly recommend this album. I listen to it all the time. This week's movie review is, uh, uh hang on. Okay, okay. This week's movie review is an independent film called For Your Consideration. If you've seen the movies uh, Best in Show or Mighty Wind, you'll notice that it's a bunch of comedians uh, who, they all do different movies together, and they all play these really offbeat, wacky characters. And this, the newest movie, For Your Consideration, is about the inner workings of Hollywood, from publicity to the, just the actors and inter working with each other, it's, oh, it's so good. They, they play, make a play on, it's basically a parody on everything that's Hollywood. And uh, Catherine O'Hara, she's kind of older, so she plays this uh, actress that's trying to make a comeback. And so, oh, it's Catherine O'Hara, Eugene Levy, Parker Posey, a bunch of them. They just all, they have such good chemistry, and I think that's what makes the movie really good, because it's subtle humor. And, and the way they work with each other is really important. Anyways. I actually liked A Mighty Wind and Best in Show better than this movie. I'm really glad that I went to go see it, but because they had so much to work with in this movie, I'm not sure. It just, it didn't, it was, it wasn't, and nothing really laugh out loud. So even though I really recommend what they do together, you know, the other movies, and this movie, I don't recommend this specific one. So 
that's hey, this week's movie review. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Vene, North Star Production.